Yo team. How is everybody? Oh, okay, wait. This is what we're gonna do. There he is. They're coming together. They're doing their Hey, hello, brother. How are you? Is this working? I mean, there it is. Now it's working. Hey. Yeah, how are you? Hey, hello. What's happening, man? Very good. You know, mate. Same old. Yeah. This just is pretty much quarantining. Thing, quarantining. This is, this is life. This is just how things are. Yeah, and it's important that we quarantine. I'm bored of shit, but it's important that we all quarantine. I mean, it's ten past two. There it's an empty glass. Not for long, it's not. Criminal, D. That is criminal. I know. That never would have happened when you and I lived together. No, it wouldn't have. You're a nice cube, buddy. Dan, oh, this is what happens. Oh. Dan loves ice cubes, so the second I get oh. an ice cube out, he's like, oh, let's go. Look at the fucking size of him. Here you go, brother. He's enormous. Good boy. Bless him. What a sweetheart. I know. Dude, this is weird for me. I've never done one of these with people actually watching one before. Watching it. <laughs> I don't know Normally, it's like thing with people watching it. No. Oh! Yeah, sl swish, slam. Swish. swish. There we go. How are you, ma'am? You doing good? Yeah, it's Easter here. Happy Easter to you. Happy I Easter. Just... Yeah, that's right. It's Easter. It's not just there. It's Easter everywhere. Easter well, weekend. No. It's well. It's Easter Sunday here. It's Easter it's Sunday good. with you. Yeah, but it's Easter everywhere. Happy, happy Easter, man. Thanks, man. I hope oh. the, um, I was about to say Easter fairy, but that's definitely not what it is. I don't think so. Bunny. Easter I bunny. Brings you all the chocolate your little heart desires. Well, yeah. I miss British chocolate, if I'm honest. Oh, dude, same, same. By the way, like Cadbury is like, is not the same. I know, I know. No, weird. So there's a place that I found here that does Cadbury's chocolate, but I found it. And this mm. is, this, you know, this is the real tragedy of the virus is I found it about a week before um, we were oh, all quarantined. Fine. And oh, I, I, I know, oh. fuck, next time, next time next, I'll know. Next Easter. Next That's Easter, fine. yeah. I just, I just donated, I had a bunch of masks um, oh, and gloves. Huh? <laughs> what did you say? Like I, I was taking the piss. Of course, shocker. Um, I just donated, I had a bunch of like masks and gloves left over from uh, an ex-girlfriend. Um, you should donate the Iron Man mask. You won't do that. I don't know where that went. I think I gave that to a children's hospital. Because that was in Toronto. I'm pretty sure I gave that to a children's hospital. Ah, right. Yeah, it was gone. That's a shame. Well, it's not a shame, because the children will love it. Yeah. I mean, like, imagine, <laughs> That's a imagine. shame. Those selfish children in the hospital. I mean, it was cool. I mean, no, it's not a shame. I take that entirely back. It was nice of you to do that. Although, one of those kids in Toronto is going to have, like, imagine walking around quarantine with that thing on. Like, did you bring I know. a mask? Like, what know, I really mask. hope is they share it. I really hope that there's, yeah. there's a shared, like, oh, I get to be Iron Man today. That's really exciting. I hope that. If I could have bought a thousand of them, if I could have afforded to buy a thousand of them, I would. But they were yeah, really expensive. They weren't necessarily cheap. No, they were unnecessarily expensive, is what they were. No, Bye -bye. no. You know, you do oh, let's take this off you. Let's have a look. What do people say? I'm going to go through this. What are people I saying? Just, just to be clear, I don't know if there are any questions about it because I haven't been through it, but I can't answer any penny dreadful questions. I just am I not allowed to do it. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, Daryl knows more than me at this point. I, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't answer any questions. It'll ruin the show. You aren't necessarily close. I am. You're absolutely right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? L Lily's sister is dressed up as in drag. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, I must admit, it terrified me as I turned around the corner. I was like, okay. Isn't... Yeah, <laughs> sure. What's this? You look fantastic. Don't get me wrong. You look incredible. Rest. 
I can see the dress. You look wonderful. It's very subtle. It's very subtle. It is subtle. That's what I like about it, I think, is the subtlety. <laughs> it's incredibly subtle. Yeah. That's so scary. I don't look like myself. That's the whole point of drag, I suppose, is that you don't look like yourself. I don't know if that's the whole point, but that, that is, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Stop trying to steal our moment. This is my moment, all right? Your uh, Daryl's moment. Yeah, I don't know. Someone said, I love your accents. Well, you know what? They're ours and you can't have them. I mean, I, I, you can rent mine. Oh, can you? Yes. Times I are do. tough. I get it. Rent Times my are tough. Com forward slash Daryl Crowley. If you put a deposit down now, I will send you three variations. My standard, my Cockney, and my slowly evolving into an Australian accent. Those, nice are, those are the three distinct accents that I know about you. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. So Daryl has three accents. He has the accent that is his accent, that's his normal accent. Then he has an accent where he gets drunk and he'll talk to someone from sort of East-ish London and all of a sudden he turns and says, oh yeah, fuck it, I'm a builder, aren't I? Yeah, I just, I fuck it, I, I do roofs and stuff. shit, whatever. I, I build, I build stuff. <laughs> and then like he, he does, you have this sort of quasi-Australian accent where every now and then I'll hear you go, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it was good, eh? And I'm like, what do you mean, eh? Hey? We don't say that. Five years I've been here. I'm slowly evolving into an Australian. Clearly, I mean, look at me, I'm the most Australian thing you've ever seen. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely, yeah. All that's missing is the surfboard and the tan. Hey, I sit in the sun. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I'll teach you to surf. Next time you come to LA, I'll teach you to surf, I promise. The scary thing is, when is that going to be? What is happening? I know, I know. Our quarantine just got extended to, uh, I think, May 16th, I think. Really? That's what I saw this morning, yeah, May 16th. You want to be travelling in May? That's really soon. Oh, no, God, no. No, no, no. I think we're looking at six months, I think, unfortunately. I think we're uh, yeah. mm, I think, I think if people adhere to the rules, if people adhere to what the government is telling them to do, yeah. then this will be squashed much quicker than, than it could be. But unfortunately, what we're seeing is lots of people who don't take this seriously because they think they're immune, because they think they're too young, because whatever. Yeah. And that's a real problem. Like, it's, it's going to end up worsening the situation. Um, because what we'll see is people going out, still kind of doing their thing, yeah. and either getting the virus and being asymptomatic or transferring the virus to other people. And then all of a sudden, there are yeah. people who, you know, in two weeks or two months or however long it is, who have the virus and don't know, who are transferring it to other people when everyone is let out of quarantine. And that's a real problem. Like, you just yeah. have to adhere to the medical professionals' opinions because I, yeah, all they're trying to do is save lives. That's the only thing they're trying to do. Like, they're not doing it from a selfish point of view. They no. are 